721, we want to welcome to the program uh, Richard Masser. Good morning, sir. How are you? Okay. How are you? Listen, <laughs> Eureka, California, one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. Well, tell I me want to say that out loud. Well, I would glad to hear that. Tell me the last time you traveled through uh, Humboldt County and, and what brought you this direction. Okay. Well, it might be a little weird, but I was up there in 1992 okay. campaigning for... Um, Barbara Boxer, um, um, Diane Feinstein, and Bill Clinton. I was part of the California Democratic campaign, uh, coordinated campaign run by a man named Phil Angelitis, who went on to do many things in the state of California. He was the party chair at the time. And for any of your listeners who didn't support the people I just mentioned, that's okay. But that's when I was there last. <laughs> okay. Well, that's interesting to know. So you you have such a career in in film and stage and, and TV shows, but you also had some political, uh, uh, I, I don't know if it was aspirations or you just inspired to try to support a particular uh, uh, cause. Well, you know what, listen, I've, uh, you know, as you probably know from reading stuff about me, I was, I, I was involved in my labor union for, well, still am for the last 30 years, doing a lot of stuff. I was the national president of the Screen Actors Guild, which in itself is it's a different kind of politics, but it's also political. But I've, I've always believed that, you know, when, when things happen to you in your life and you get a chance to, you know, be lucky enough to do what I do for a living and, and get a little bit of visibility and a little bit of, um, notoriety that if you get to apply that to things that you care about that's it's important that you do it so I've been involved in various and sundry um, issues over the years and and it's um, I found it necessary for myself I'm not saying this is everybody but for myself to go out uh, go out and stand up for things I believe in and and sometimes it's political candidates sometimes it's um, you know, issue politics, but I think it's important. And, and I'm, well, as the president of the union, I was often on television on things like CNN, uh, uh, pushing back against people who were taking shots at at um, actors mm-hmm. who stood up for what they believed in and say, well, what do they know? What do they, you know? And I said, look, if this were the head of a corporation, you wouldn't be complaining about the fact that we're taking a public position. Why, why should this successful person, or, or maybe not successful, whatever, but why should this citizen not stand up for what he or she thinks is, is important and, and right to stand up for, especially if they've taken the trouble to educate themselves and do it in a knowledgeable fashion? Well, I think there, that's as a- we all know, there are many people who are actually in politics who don't know as much as a bunch of people <laughs> who are just standing up to talk about stuff. Well, so. I, yeah, Rich, i got to agree with you right there. I mean, but I think that's the key of whatever faction they're, or platform they're standing on is just make sure that uh, that they're knowledgeable, hopefully. But that's not what we're right. here to talk about. I mean, we're, we're going to talk about some of I your... Know, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but, no, that's great because, you know, uh, I look at your career and you look like somebody who has been uh, a go-getter, not uh, happy with uh, one successful or two successful uh, works, uh, you know, stage productions or, or films, but you know, like, okay, I did good there. I want to, I want to move on to the next. What really drives you to keep on going and, and not only, you know, uh, say like your political stuff, but also on, on your work, your films, your, your TV shows. Right. Financial need is the simple <laughs> answer. <laughs> so, and anybody who tells you differently is lying to you. Let me just say that. If you, if you get an actor on and they say they're doing it for some reason other than Basically, because they're trying to make a living, then I'm 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 calling BS on them. So, um, uh, but that's been my experience. I and not that every decision you make, if, when you're lucky enough to be able to make a decision, by the way, uh, not that every decision you make is dictated by finances. This certainly wasn't. I mean, Lonely Boys, the film that I'm here to talk about, is this absolutely beautiful, tiny little movie made for almost nothing that looks like it was made for many 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 times more than it was made for mm-hmm. and um and this is a this is a little film that uh, i hope the director writer star of the film dan simon sees some 
at least gets his money back from, if not sees some actual earnings from. I hope he does. But for most of us, it was a it was a labor of love. You know, we did it because it's a it was a great script about really wonderful things, and it turned into one of the sweetest little films I've ever seen. I, I described it to someone else earlier today as it's like when you sit down for a great meal in the best restaurant you ever hope to get to, and in that moment before the check arrives when you finish the meal, you're just sitting there thinking, what a great way this was to spend an hour and a half. I mean, that's, that's what this film is like when you get to the end. You feel satisfied. You feel like you've had a really interesting, complex meal. And, and the taste of it is still in your mouth, you know. That's, I, I can't recommend it highly enough. Well, that, without even going into the description of what the movie's about, that right there makes me want to want to watch it. Lonely Boys is coming out on DVD and digital HD on Friday. And uh, what's going to follow in your career next? I mean, obviously you did this some time ago since it's in the can already. So what do you got going next there, uh, Richard? Well, actually, I'm, I'm in the middle of another film with Dan, which uh, hopefully will be finished sometime soon. There have been a couple of uh, 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 logistical hiccups with it. I have, uh, uh, I just recently did a, 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 a Chicago Justice, which is a new show, which mm-hmm. I had a great time on. And I think that airs this Sunday, actually. I can, I'll, let me, Throw that out there, Sunday. <laughs> there you go. Chicago Justice. It's a new show from Dick Wolf, who made all the all the Law and Orders, which I also worked on. Um, and um, it's a really wonderful uh, show with a tre- tremendous cast. All right. We'll see. Um, and uh, yeah, I just you know the the thing is, if you're lucky enough to have any kind of career in this business, um, you're a rarity. But it, those of us who've been slogging away at this for over four decades, that's a really small group of people. And I feel very lucky that I was, you know, I was working in this business in, in 1972, and I'm still working in this business, and I haven't had to do anything else to, you know, I haven't had to have a day job all that time. <laughs> there aren't a whole lot of people who can say that, and I, I feel pretty pretty lucky because of that yeah i gotta i gotta agree with you i mean you look at the the work that you've done and i like all of it my wife's favorite movie is uh, my girl i i like you in risky business and yeah. some of the tv stuff so hey i know i've got to let you go because you're continuing to work this morning come back up here to Humboldt county look me up and uh, we'll, we'll get together and, and talk some more about life all right i would love to as i said one of the one of the most beautiful places I've ever been in my life. And it's still gorgeous up here. Richard Master, You're thank you. You're lucky to be there. Take I, care. Thank you very much, and thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to uh, Lonely Boys this Friday. Have a good day. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye.